Jacksonville could be spending hundreds of millions of dollars this upcoming year on various construction projects. The concern now is to funnel a good portion of that to areas that have been neglected for years. News for Jack's reporter Jim Piggott went to the core of the city to see the changes that need to be made. This is something they want to see more of in Northwest Jacksonville, and that's why they want to focus attention on projects like this. I'm here along Moncrief. This is a beautification project they have going in in this area, but Councilman Carlucci and others say more work needs to be done. You want to come to Granny House? You want to come to Granny House? <laughs> Janice Harris wants to make sure her neighborhood will be a safe place for her two-year-old granddaughter. She says she's always heard the talk of improvement, but has not seen much action. They're not giving us any uh, attention, I put it like that. But city council members say they are starting to pay attention. Two city council committees have approved Councilman Matt Carlucci's plan that would have the city spend at least 17 percent of the money set aside for projects on infrastructure in specific parts of Jacksonville. That's the area marked on this map, the core or old city boundaries. The money would go for road, drainage, and septic tank improvements. You got to start somewhere, and the place to start uh, was the old Jacksonville city limits. By the way, I talked to a lot of uh, uh, members of the leadership of the black community and the white community, and they thought, you know what, start in the old city limits, that's a defined area. And while that's only a small portion of the $250 million the city is considering for all construction projects, Carlucci says it doesn't have to stop there. If the full council agrees, it would mean at least for the next five years, those promises that have been ignored could be addressed. Councilman Garrett Dennis says there's good intention, but he's not going to sign off just yet. I think, you know, for some of my colleagues, it's just a it's just a uh, song and dance just to say, hey, listen, I'm listening. Uh, but, you know, until we put dollars into those projects, it's just all talk. And that's what Janice Harris says she's been hearing for years. So much has gone on for so long that they, they haven't done anything yet. She's hoping this time it will change and that eventually her granddaughter will have a vibrant neighborhood to visit. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station. City Council will take up the issue on Tuesday as they mull over the city budget. Right now the mayor's office is not commenting and will wait to see if it's approved.